Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Evan here from Sci-Fi Science Camps, and I'm here to do a short tutorial on how to program LEGO NXTs without the use of a computer. How I would usually start this, uh, whether I was teaching the kids or a brand new set of instructors, is I would get them to look through their bin of LEGO to find two, not one, but two motors and one wire. And take that wire and connect two motors together, not to the brain, just to each other. The purpose of this, not just to see the magic of a motor turning, uh, but it's also a really good way to test to see if your wires are broken. Uh, occasionally these wires break and this is a really good way to test A, if these motors still work and if this wire still works. If you turn one of them, the other side should, should turn as well. Okay, that's step one. Step two involves finding yet another wire and disconnecting your previous two motors tied together and now have two separate motors, each with their own wire. Then you find the brain. And you plug these two motors, one to slot B, one to slot C, and you'll see across the top there's A, B, C, and across the bottom there's 1, 2, 3, 4. You want the motors in B and C, you want nothing in A. This also doesn't work if you only have one motor. You can't have just one motor in B or just one motor in C. You need a motor in both B and C. Okay, then now it's, it's going to get a little more complicated now. Now you get everybody in the whole class simultaneously to turn on their Lego robot brain at the same time by pressing the orange button. If they already have their machines on, tell them to hold this dark gray button for five seconds until it turns off. Then everybody at the same time, you should hear a big symphony of... about 20 times. Now, from here, everybody has to hit the right arrow button once. It, by default, it's, it's set on my files. You want to go to the part where it says NXT program. So we got left and right buttons here. We have the enter button and the cancel button. Now, when it's on NXT program, you hit the enter button. And now it's going to give you some instructions here on where things should be plugged in. So it's telling you that if you wanted uh, a touch sensor, it has to be in port 1. If you wanted a ultrasonic sensor, you want it on port 4. And the motors need to be in spots B and C. Okay, we're still looking at the instruction manual page of where things need to be plugged in. And to skip past that, you just hit the orange button. Okay, now you're going to see one, two, three, four, five boxes across the top, and those are the five spaces where you can put instructions. And in the different spaces, it gives you different options of, of what you can put in there. So, uh, in the first option, you have a whole bunch of different things you can pick. Uh, the first example, by default, says forward five. Whenever you see a number there, that means seconds. So, four five means drive forward for five seconds. Um, and there's also, there's backwards, backwards for five seconds, there's turn left, turn right, backwards and left, backwards and right. There's also play music notes, there's all kinds of things. I'm just going to leave it on forward 5, and I'm going to hit enter to select that option. Okay, spots 2 and 4 of that 5 set of instructions there, are they have to do with the sensors. And I have no sensors plugged in, so we're just going to skip those. And to skip those, you just hit, you select empty for, for that option. Okay, now I've got going forward for 5 seconds, skip. And then the next one, I'm going to have it go backwards for five seconds. So it's going to go forward for five seconds, backwards for five seconds. And I still don't have sensors plugged in, so in, so in instruction number four, I'm also going to hit empty, just to skip. Now in the last option, you only get two, two different choices. You can either have it stop at the end of that sequence, or you can have it, much more fun, loop forever. Okay, so we're going to select that. And then we're basically done. We just hit the orange button to have it go, and the gray button to stop it. And you can also, at this point, you can save it if you want to... If you don't want to type this in over and over and over, you can save these things. Okay, so here we go. We're going to test this out. The motor should turn as soon as we press the orange button here. Driving forward for five seconds. And now it's going backwards for five seconds. And it should loop this over and over and over until the batteries run out. Or you hit the gray button. In an emergency, if you're about to drive off a cliff, you can just hit the gray button. And cancel it. To restart it, just hit the orange button. Simple as that. Okay, it's at this stage that everybody should have uh, two working motors, and I think that actually kind of helps them to build whatever they're going to build, because now they have something to go off of. Now they know if, if they want it to be a helicopter, they want to put blades on one. If they want it to be a car, they're going to put wheels on it. Um, they just have somewhere to start with. And, um, and then they can just go nuts and build whatever they want to do. I'm going to make one now that uses the ultrasonic sensor to detect objects and avoid them.
Now to program it, we're going to start the exact same way as before, we just press the orange button to turn it on. And then we hit the right button just once until we get to NXT program, you hit enter. And now, where it says, uh, please use port number 4 for ultrasonic, that's exactly what we've done, so the ultrasonic sensor is in port number 4, and we're good. And enter again. Now here, you don't just want forward 5 or forward 2 or anything like that, you just want the one that says forward and no numbers. So forward means it's going to go drive forwards until it gets other instructions. So it's going to go forwards, and now, I am using a sensor and I want the ultrasonic sensor, which the little symbol is looks like a satellite dish to me. And so you hit that. So it's going to drive forward until the ultrasonic sensor detects something, and then, since I wanted to avoid what it detects, I want it to back up, and so back and left, two seconds. So it's going to drive back and left for two seconds. For inst uh, instruction number four, I have no nothing for it, so I'm just going to hit enter, or for empty, for skip. And then the last one, I want this to loop forever. And we're done. You should now have a car that will drive straight until it sees an object, and then it should avoid it. Here we go, in three, two, one.